the world is 3D. So we derive, we really should be designing around a basic concept to get an idea of our horizontal placement. In order to do that, what we typically will have is we'll have a layout of parcels. From that layout of parcels, we want a horizontal alignment that kind of drives much of our design. From that design, that's going to tell us how to edit and analyze it. Those who have been using Civil 3D typically run into, you know, well, how styles should be involved and how labeling is going to come up. And finally, how is this going to work with my overall project? So, in the beginning, if we just look at things here, uh, one of the things we would start out first with, you know, sometimes we get drawings. As a user stated to me the other day, well, you know, I don't do this stuff. I get a drawing from an architect. I get a drawing from someone who's created this stuff for me. I just need to know how to create this stuff in Civil 3D. So I just want to give a couple different scenarios. And one would be create an alignment straight from the polylines that an individual gives you. The other would be, you know, reversing that alignment, making sure everything is tangent from the data that they give you. Also, manipulating and modifying the specific objects of that alignment. Whether I want to modify the curve, point of tangency, point of intersection. So those are just some of the things. And then one of the things that's critical is the site that we put these things in. So just as an example, just gonna move this back just a little bit so everyone can see my screen. And there's gonna be some tools on here that some of you may say, where in the heck did he get those from? And if that is the case, that's what some of our questions are for. So for instance, like these over here, these are some tools that you probably just don't get straight from AutoCAD. And again, this is the interface for AutoCAD. As you can see, I got my nice little simple PDF creator up there, import a PDF, some really simple things. If you're using Civil 3D, then you should be using river analysis. You should have the geotechnical, we should have vehicle tracking, we should have Autodesk InfoWorks. So these are some of the things, if you have the AEC collection, we can create three hour sessions in terms of how to work with all of these in collaboration. So back to the ideal of working with alignments. Um, here I just have some lines. So from the individual that gave me this drawing, they were saying, well, we've just basically got lines here. How do we create this data into civil 3D objects? So the first thing that we want to take a look at is we want to take a look at the idea of creating alignments from objects. So I always think of alignment entities as freedom to work with. So alignments consist of, you know, three types of entities, lines, arcs, and spirals. Segments from segments that control the horizontal and their relationships to one another that we want to kind of take a look at. So we want to create an alignment from a polyline. It's pretty straightforward. So if I look down here at the bottom, there's a giant polyline. One of the things that you're going to run into is we got polylines going across the site and up the site. So now you have to think about this process of laying things out, how you want to address those. So from this, I can just go up here and select alignments. I want to create an alignment from a polyline. You can do the same thing from the ribbon. I can create an alignment from an object. I'll create an alignment from an object, select the polyline. It shows me an arrow in the direction that that line is going in. So I can either hit R for reverse to switch it up, but I want it going from right to left because the site, even though it's flowing from left to right in terms of plan and profile sheets, I want it flowing left to right, right to left because it goes up the site also. So I'll just hit enter. It brings up this dialog box. First thing I want to do is put in this name. 
We'll put in this name called Rose Drive. How about that? Rose Drive, an old friend of mine. And there's different type of alignments. I'm going to select center line alignment. From that, we're going to start at station zero. From that station zero, I want to be able to give it a specific name, station, and then these different tabs down here, general information in terms of what site is going in. I do have a site called none. Over here on the sites, there is no site yet, but I do have a site called none. I'm gonna have it on the center line alignment layer called C roll and all labels. And then curves, you have to think about, do you want curves in between? Well, my polyline already has curves in between. So I'm just gonna deselect that. Then I wanna erase the existing entity. And then if I think about what I'm doing in terms of my design criteria and parameters, do I want this to be have a design speed and use design based criteria based upon national standards? Based upon these national standards, you have options in terms of roadway design for roundabouts, roadway, and if you're in the state of Florida, F dot parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And I don't want to use my criteria based design. And I just select OK. And there's my alignment. Pretty straightforward. Now, you guys didn't say anything about that arrow going in that direction. So one of the things I can quickly do under alignments is reverse alignment direction. I'll pick on my alignment. It says, warning, reverse alignment, remove all stations and equations. I'm OK with that. Now I'm at station zero. So let's put a curve in there. Pretty straightforward in terms of my alignment. Now, from that, I want to create another alignment. So I got more polylines here from these alignments. I'm going to create this alignment now. So this alignment, create alignment from object. If I pick on it, if I zoom in on this, I'll hit enter to accept that. And then this alignment, I'm going to give it a name and not really an untypical name. I'm just going to call it Alex. Something simple, so I don't have to type much. Alex Avenue. So from that, same parameters, no curves. There aren't any vertexes in here, so it's not going to put any curves in here. I'll just select OK. Um, but this won't be basic. We'll select existing because someone said to me the other day, well, I'm going to be using styles on everything I do. OK, well, we'll show different styles. So from that, we're going to create another alignment. From that alignment, we're going to check from the ribbon. We're going to select create alignment from objects. Same process. If I pick on this, hit enter. I'm going to give this alignment a name. This alignment is going to be Parker Avenue. From this, we're going to have a layout style, so something a little bit different. And I like that layout style. See how that curve is blue in between those two tendons? I like that. So from that layout style, we should be going from left to right. So my last alignment, pretty straightforward. I pick on my alignment, right click, hit enter. We're going to do my layout style and select OK. So there's my layout style for my alignment. And it's going from left to right. Any point in time down here under alignments, center line alignments, I can come down and pick and highlight all my alignments. Something real quick, starting in style. If I right click on style, just some really quick tips. I want all those from existing to layout. Select OK. Now all my styles are layout. Nice. So that looks pretty. So from that standpoint, that's creating alignments. If someone gave me alignments from just lines and arcs with parcels. So the other thing is, if I highlight these, so something real quick, because it wouldn't com be complete unless we selected similar. And then we said from select similar, huh, 
Let's create parcels from objects. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to put any distances or anything like that. There's all my parcels. So whoever laid this out in regular CAD, maybe it took some time to do that by offsetting lines and getting distances. I could do that in seconds with Civil 3. So 